Hey there, my name is Eric Orm. I'm the Vice President of Product and Engineering in Prime Video for Live Sports. Hello there, my name is Olga Hall. I am a Director of Engineering and I run Availability and Resiliency Team for Live Sports. Let's get started. All right. If you go back in time and witness the invention of discovery of any technology throughout history, which one would you choose and why? Well, that one is pretty easy. Oh, for you it is. It is, absolutely. Okay, um, I thought about it for the longest time, right? What inspires me? And fundamentally what inspires me is origin stories. Um, humans for centuries wanted to fly. I think that being there was the Wright brothers when they invented the first airplane that actually met the qualification for the flight. It could take off, it could be a certain amount of time in the air and could land. They did it over a specific period of time. They did it very quietly in Amazonian sort of like humble way. And um, they did it with grit, character and science. Mm. They were experimenting constantly. They were innovating constantly and they made it work. So for me, it's such an inspirational story and it's sort of speaks a little bit to Amazon leadership principles, bias for action, leaning into science and making things work and delivering results. I would want it to be there right there with them and see how they were making decisions and choices. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, let's do another round. Sounds good. Ooh, if I could tell every sports fan one thing about our AI innovations, it would be, why don't you go first? Mm, okay. Yeah, uh, I to me, the way that we sort of approach AI is, you know, you can put math on the screen, you can do a lot of cool things, but for us, the customer and their attention is really at the heart of what we do. And so, you know, we talk about it a lot at Amazon, working backwards from the customer. Uh, and for sports fans, we really do that. And so if you look at some of the features we have, our philosophy around it is, how do we educate people who don't know that much about the sport to get yeah. them more into it? And how do we really educate super fans? Like, how do yeah. we get them inside of the quarterback's head or inside yeah. of, you know, the coach's head? And so, to me, I would I would let them know like that's at the heart of everything that we do. And yeah. so, the features that they will see and experience sort of like emanate from that. Yeah. Well, since I am in the availability and resiliency space and domain, and I've been in it for a while, to me, making sure that we don't lose a single stream has been mission of my life for so long. And I would say to customers and people watching is that AI helps us make decisions and resolve issues near real time. Mm. It is a friend, it is a big help and a big accelerator for helping our operators and builders uh, make real time snap decisions and fix problems. Okay. Name three unexpected outcomes of implementing AI in sports broadcasting. I'm going to continue with this theme of availability. That's passion of mine. I think when you and I started discussions about live streaming a few years ago, right? One of the conversations that we had, wouldn't it be cool if we get to a point where we can detect the issue proactively and fix it and solve it under five minutes. Mm. And at the time, I was looking at you and saying, Eric, you're crazy. <laughs> there is crazy. Humans don't make decisions that fast. And here we are, fast forward five years, you know, we're right now in reality, we're in the future, we're in the present time. Yeah. And one of the goals this year that we had is how we can proactively detect issues and fix them under five minutes. And we're living it. Yeah. And living it day it's amazing in, to see how fast day out. Happened. Exactly. Yeah, totally. I think for me, one of those three, unexpected. I remember in 2019, talking to you know a couple of leaders in Prime Video, and they're talking about AWS and next gen stats, and like, hey, what what could we do with it? Um, you know, we had some ideas, but we did, really didn't know. Yeah. And then you fast forward to, you know, last year when we you know took on this big yeah. crazy goal of like hey, let's really make something innovative in the broadcast. We had no idea what it was going to be. Yeah. We took people from, you know, our production team, some experts in, you know, who have you know, previous players, coaches, 
uh, and then our you know science team who really didn't know that much at all about football. And you fast forward five months later, we were doing blitz predictions more accurate than you know coaches and quarterbacks could do it on players. Uh, and so to me, like one of the unexpected outcomes was like how fast we could actually prototype something, but also how we could build something that customers, whether you're a super fan or a novice fan, can actually enjoy in the main broadcast without disrupting their, you know, enjoyment of the game. That to me was like surprising that we could we could do it that fast. One more question. Let's go for it. Walk us through how AWS Generative AI integrates with Prime Video existing infra infrastructure. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll give a use case because we use it in a few different ways, but um, with defensive alerts. One of the big challenges we had to solve is around not just like accuracy of the model, but yeah. latency. And so uh, essentially the way, the way that we've sort of architected this is we get a lot of this data in real time from these zebra sensors that are on the football players. Um, and we needed to get that and process it really quickly. And so, you know, we looked at the latency that requirements that are there for broadcast. And if we made round trips to the cloud, it would probably just take too long. So we ended up deploying um, uh, servers, compute, actually mm -hmm. in the trailers that we have at the events. Mm -hmm. uh, and we use we do that with ECS anywhere. And, you know, in the background, we're building our models in SageMaker. We're training them, you know, doing all those types of things. But we deploy it, and it deploys right to that server that's sitting in the truck. Mm -hmm. uh, and so essentially, we're able to take that data mm -hmm. pretty much in real time, a couple hundred milliseconds from those sensors, uh, bring them into our model, layer on some business logic and some historical uh, AWS uh, next-gen stats data. And within you know 500 milliseconds, it's being painted. We're sending messages up to the uh, you know, graphics rendering to, to paint, you know, circles around these players. It's crazy. You know, we've talked about a couple of these good examples around, you know, AI and, and you know, things that we've seen. And, you know, you fast forward from five to seven years ago, yeah. it's it's amazing where we are. Yeah. So looking forward, you know, I feel very, you know, fortunate that we, you know, have AWS here as, yeah. you know, sort of like our a sister team in a way. They continue to innovate. And that continues to accelerate our roadmaps. Yeah. And as we look forward to, you know, more sports, uh, you know, bigger audiences, yeah. you know, more uh, features that we think are like really innovative that we can leverage in AI for, uh, it's just an exciting time to, you know, be in, in the very early stages of, uh, you know, sports broadcasting uh, over the internet. When I think about future, I think we're just in the very beginning. We don't know yet you know, what kind of inventions will be there. We, we are working on this together. I'm super excited about so many new products that's been in, uh, announced at this reInvent. Uh, Multi-agent, for example, uh, capabilities. Mm -hmm. This is this is amazing. I'm, I'm just so excited. Can't, can't wait to try it out and bring it to my teams. Uh, the other one is... Um, a Gen AI is a judge, sort of strengthening, strengthening absolutely the feedback loops that we're getting and making sure that we're highly intentional, highly precise. I think that fundamentally what I've learned over the years is that availability and resilience is a team sport mm -hmm. where each partner, each element, uh, each developer collaborates, innovates, and participates in it. And we are absolutely fortunate to have AWS as our partners, being part of the team. Yeah. Being part of the team. It's still day one. It's still day one. <laughs>